What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hop LA Events on Tap, episode 27, covering all of the awesome things happening in LA beer this week. A little bit of news to start off the show. LA Beer Week is right around the corner, kicking off on June 16th, lasting all the way through June 24th. This is the biggest holiday for LA craft beer drinkers. There is going to be awesome beer events happening all over the county, yes. at your local brewery, at your favorite beer bar, every single day. And hey, we have some tricks up our sleeve that we can't wait to share with you guys. But those details are coming very, very soon, so stay tuned. Yeah, and a little bit of breaking news for you guys. Uh, we just got word that the LA Brewers Kickoff Festival tickets are now on sale early bird pricing. This is the best beer festival in LA all throughout the year. Uh, we highly recommend you jump on these tickets. They're $5 cheaper right now for both GA and VIP. So just do it. And so of course with every episode we have to be drinking a little beer. Mm -hmm. And Gary you brought us some local love. What'd you bring us? Yeah so Iron Triangle Brewing in the downtown LA Arts District sent us a little care package recently. Um, it's for anyone that isn't familiar with Iron Triangle, they launched a couple years ago. Um, a little bit of controversy in that launch, uh, big name brewmaster, and some pretty big aspirations uh, in LA beer. And over the past couple years, there's been a little bit of brewer turnover, uh, and some of the beers have been reformulated, and that kind of brings us to Iron Triangle 2.0, a new look at the brewery and a bunch of new beers to try. So let's see what they're all about now. All right, let's start this tasting off with Iron Triangle's Liquid Gold Lager. Oh, this one's good. Light, approachable, just your classic American Pilsner, perfect for the summertime. Nice. So this is their Bavarian style pale ale. Uh, let's give this one a try. Big banana and clove. Um, you know, this tastes like your traditional Hefeweizen, a little less sweetness, balanced out by a little bit of bitterness from the hops. Now on to the IPA. Ooh, yeah, just your classic West Coast, big pine, really like you're just sitting in the middle of the Redwood Forest, the Pacific Northwest, sipping on a just a very traditional West Coast style, piney, bit of resin in there, delicious. Yeah, a little old school. Yeah. So now on to their dark lager, which is actually a pre-prohibition porter. Let's give it a whirl. I like this one a lot. Super light body, um, but extreme roastiness, coffee, cocoa. This is the, if you're into dark beer, this is the type of dark beer you can drink in the summertime in LA. Really, really good. Yeah. I think that's my favorite of the bunch. Yeah, me too. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> So simple names, traditional recipes, and I think they're well worth a try. So grab some at your local store or try them out at the brewery itself. All right, so you guys did not tune into this show to watch us drink beer the entire time. Or maybe you did, I don't know. But let's get right into the events for this week. Kicking things off on Tuesday, April 10th, starting at 5 p.m., Beachwood Barbecue and Brewing is having a special release party for their recent collaboration with Thorn Brewing. Yes, this is a strong pale ale with potato flakes and Idaho 7 hops. Sounds pretty interesting, um, but the real reason why we wanted to put this on your radar is this release is part of the launch of Thorn Brewing in the LA market. You can expect to find more of their beer on tap around you soon. Also on Tuesday, starting at 6 p.m., Select Beer Store in Redondo Beach is having a bottle flight night with Crooked Stave out of Denver. And you don't see Crooked Stave's amazing sour and wild ales in Los Angeles too often, so when you do, you should probably go check it out. Agreed. Then on Thursday, April 12th, starting at 6 p.m., Submergy Brew Works out of Torrance is having yet another brewing class for the hazy New England style IPA. Yes, we all love the style of beer, but do we know how to brew it? We probably should. So you should check out this class in Torrance and do it. Then on Saturday, starting at 12 p.m., there's the second annual Cask Off at Ventura Coast Brewing Company. This event features a bunch of specialty cask beers brewed by the Ventura Coast team, plus some local collaborations with other Ventura businesses. Sounds like an awesome event, completely worth the trip to Ventura, so buy your ticket today. 
Then on Sunday, April 15th at 10 a.m., nice and early, Blue Palms Brew House is having a special breakfast with Salark Brewing. Yes, who does not love a beer breakfast? And this one is with Salark Brewing, where you don't see their beers on tap around LA all too often. The reason why Salark is so cool is they brew a bunch of styles of beer that you just don't see brewed these days. Very interesting stuff. Head down to Blue Palms and check it out. All right, so that does it for this week's events. As always, let's get into the previews for this month and next month. Starting things off on Thursday, April 19th at 6 p.m., Kings Road Cafe is having another special beer event, this time with three weavers. This event features a tap list of three weavers beers that you do not see outside of the tap room at often, if at all. So highly recommend you guys checking this one out. Their beers are amazing. Then on Saturday, April 21st, starting at 11 a.m., Firestone Walker Propagator in Venice is turning two. And they're throwing a big party to celebrate. Uh, they're gonna have some special beer releases. They did a, a couple collab beers with LA Ale Works, a Hazy IPA, a Milkshake IPA. They're gonna have some beer and food pairings. There's also a VIP session that gets you some special access, some special beer. We always recommend the VIP session because it's fucking cool. So do this one. Then on Sunday, April 22nd at 5 p.m., Public Beer and Wine Shop is having a special collaborative beer dinner with Dry River Brewing. If there's a brewery that we're most intrigued about a beer dinner with, it's definitely Dry River. Yeah. And this beer dinner typically sells out. 60 bucks a pop, buy your tickets today. Then on Saturday, April 28th, starting at 11 a.m., Smog City is having their anniversary celebration. We've been talking about this one for several weeks now because it's gonna be awesome. A bunch of beer releases, um, they're opening up their parking lot for a beer garden, they'll have beer cocktails, a whole bunch more. They also have a VIP session with early access, exclusive beers, all that fun stuff, and we have a promo code for you. Enter High Five Friend at checkout to get $5 off your tickets. Do it today. Also on April 28th at 4 p.m., the Orange County Brewers Guild is having their Invitational Festival for 2018. You guys know the drill. We've been talking about this for weeks now. A lot of great beer in the OC. Buy your ticket. If you're not gonna be at Smug City, you better be at this one. Yes. Then on Tuesday, May 15th at 6.30 p.m., there's a Cicerone off-flavor course at The Loft at LMU. So in case you don't know, Cicerone is an advanced beer tasting certification uh, that kind of elevates your level of what to taste about beer and why it's so awesome. Um, this off-flavor course specifically hones in on why beer is bad, what makes it bad, and how to tell when it is bad. We took this course a couple years ago. It is super interesting. Highly recommend doing it if you're into beer. Buy your ticket, do it. Wrapping things up for this episode, Saturday, May 19th, starting at 12 p.m. and going pretty much the entire afternoon and evening, Eagle Rock Brewery Session Fest is back. This is one of our favorite events of the year and it features beers that are typically sub 5%. So it means you can have a lot of them. Yeah, maybe. Features beer brewed by the entire Eagle Rock staff. You get a commemorative glass. It's a really, really fun event. Buy your ticket, check it out. So that does it for this episode mm. of Events on... That's my line. So that does it for this episode for Events on Tap. We're gonna get through this lineup and we'll see you guys next week. Drink indie and drink local.